Hi guys, it's Rob here and I'm back with another Maya tutorial. So in the last video I showed you how to use the Create Polygon tool to create a custom shape uh, in the form of anything you wanted. Well, now once you have this custom shape, uh, one thing you might have realized is that when you, we, we originally drew this face right here, right, we created this polygon and then we extruded it to give it its thickness. But you may notice that there's no subdivisions here that uh, allow us to, to have more uh, edges and uh, smaller uh, faces. So cutting this up into faces where we could actually manipulate those uh, subcomponents of this, this specific face. So what I'm actually going to show you in this tutorial is how to use the multi-cut tool to add edges between, uh, between vertices and on faces themselves as well. So we'll go up here to Mesh Tools and we'll come down to Multi-Cut. We'll select it and we'll notice that we have now this little um, exacto blade sort of icon and you'll see that as we just mouse over things uh, you know you, you'll see a bunch of these different things come up sometimes it'll highlight an edge or sometimes it'll go to a, a vertex sometimes it'll have this yellow and white thing bouncing around so I'll explain all three so when we highlight over an edge okay let me just get to an edge here here we go right it's showing us that we're over that edge so if we were to click here we've inserted a vertice over that edge now I'm gonna hit backspace because when you're using these uh, tools, if you want to go one step back, you would use the backspace key. Now, I'm going to also show you that when I highlight over this vertice here, you get this little red icon. That means that if I place this right now, if I laid this down, right, I started my cut at that vertice, right, and I could end my cut at another vertice. I could also backspace, I could also end my cut on an edge. I could also end my cut on a face. You'll see this face is highlighted. Now the other condition that we were looking at, let me try to move around here so I get, see when you get close to a vertice, it jumps around these yellow and white lines. That's actually Maya trying to give you a shortcut there. So if I were to click in one of these situations, I've defined two points. I've started the cut at this vertice here, this vertex rather, and I've then also laid down this point where I've defined this edge up until. Now you're going to notice that if I lay down a bunch of these cuts but don't close it and I go to hit enter, I'm going to get an error down here that says you must end your cut line on a vertex or an edge. So this is important. We don't necessarily have to close the shape, right? But we do have to end our cut line on a vertex or an edge. Well, what does that mean? That means if we were to do something like this and hit enter because when we hit enter, that signifies that we're done with that specific uh, usage of, that, of the tool, right? We, we're still on this tool here, but we've used that to cut out this face here. So uh, if I hit enter, you'll see that that was well defined. So no more errors there, right? So now if I change back to my selection tool and I go into face mode uh, under the right clicking and choosing which component I would select out of it, uh, I could highlight over this big face here or this small face. So I now have two faces that I could actually choose from. Now, this is in contrast to what we just had, which is just one big face. Now, I have this face here. You'll notice it has the same behavior. It's just a face. It's not, you know, there's nothing special or unique about it. What the multi-cut tool does, it, is allow it allows us to define edges, okay, that will cut our mesh up into more faces. So, you can imagine the uses of this tool. Uh, uh, one, uh, special, one special way we like to do it, or one uh, particularly useful way we'd like to use this tool, is with the Create Polygon tool. So you would use the Create Polygon tool, uh, as I did in the last video to show you guys, to lay down a custom shape, uh, then extrude the shape for thickness, um, and then once you do that, you would just use the multi-cut tool to cut up faces here. So uh, to lay in edges and cut up these faces. So if I just go vertice to vertice, right you'll see that I'll just get this clean this clean edge here and just hit enter now there's one other really cool or I'd say two other really cool features of this tool uh, that I specifically know of uh, if you hold down the shift key you'll notice that when I, I mouse over an edge uh, I'm go I go to the midpoint of the edge uh, you'll uh, signify it as a black dot so that means that if I want to lay down a cut between these two midpoints I would just hold down shift click those two edges and hit enter so that's really cool so I'll show you that one more time hold down shift mouse over an edge You'll notice that the midpoint is highlighted in black. We're going to click that as point one, and then click again for point two. And since we were holding shift, uh, we've seen that this edge was added between the at the midpoint of those two lines. So pretty cool stuff. Another thing is that if you hold control, you could actually see an edge loop being dropped in here. So let me go here. 
right? So because of this uh, weird way that we made this with the Create Polygon tool, and it, it's, it doesn't have like, uh, you know, all the edges here, uh, it's going to be hard to add an edge loop there. But what Maya will do is that if we hold down Control here and mouse over, you can see how edge loops would be able to be added in. So for further illustration at this point, I'll create a cube since it has uh, much more basic uh, geometry. So we'll create that cube there. Okay, I'm just going to frame it by hitting the F key. Right, so you'll see here we just have our cube that we just made. Go to Mesh Tools, Multi-Cut. Now hold down the Control key and mouse over your object. When I drag, notice when I mouse over this edge sort of, right, these, uh, this vertical edge, sorry, this horizontal edge, this vertical uh, bounding box appears like as if I was going to lay in an edge loop. And then when I mouse over this one, uh, it the bounding box changes orientation by 90 degrees. Right, so what this is actually doing is this is previewing inserting an edge loop. So note the functionality that if we go to Mesh Tools Insert Edge Loop tool, right, we could lay down we could lay down the edges, right? And uh, I just actually have a tool setting here, changes to relative distance. Right? So I'd have to click and hold and I could drag that. But with the multi cut tool, not that it makes too much of a difference, but uh, if you hold this down, it's a much more visual display uh, without even having to hold anything down and, and commit to clicking that edge. You get a total visual display here, uh, which makes uh, the multi-cut tool a very versatile uh, tool in your uh, arsenal, in your modeling arsenal. Uh, one further point I'd like to make is that up here on this little box and hammer icon is the modeling toolkit. And there's enough here to go through a bunch of tutorials, but I just want to note uh, that the multi-cut tool is in fact a part of our modeling toolkit. Uh, and as per Maya's description, uh, it's used to cut, uh, description went away, a tool used to cut, slice, and insert edges on polygons. Right, so this is actually one of your most versatile tools uh, that you'll actually come across, um, I would say here, and, and one of your most useful tools. And that's why it's a part of our modeling toolkit. So uh, the modeling toolkit is definitely something you want to check out. Uh, it definitely speeds up your workflow, uh, depending on how comfortable you get with it. But definitely take a look at this um, this multi-cut tool under this mesh tools uh, option here, and definitely check it out and uh, you know play around with some of the settings if you'd like to. Uh, wor work on inserting uh, edge loops with that tool, as well as cutting up a face or um, laying down uh, points on edges and cutting that up uh, to lay in a new edge. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.